Hello and welcome to yet another video. Well, before we start this video, I just want to say thank you for the amazing support in the last video. And if you haven't seen it already, please watch it after you watch this one. Anyways, today I was thinking about video ideas that I could do. And I thought to myself, why not explain the origin story of the infamous trick, the Ollie, and how it came to be. At first, I thought I was being original, but then I realized that there was many people before me who had the same idea, such as Braille skateboarding. And I found this through a quick search on YouTube, and there were a few other videos as well. Anyways, link to all the resources I use to make this video in the description below. I hope you enjoy, and let's get on with the video now. The ollie is the basis of many tricks, such as the kickflip, and it is a trick that many people learn first. In order to do an ollie, you need to pop the tail off the board, slide your front foot, and jump, resulting in the board to lift off the ground and onto the air. The person credited with the creation of the ollie is Alan Gelfond, who in 1978 was given the nickname Ollie by Scott Goodman. And the reason why he was called Ollie was because he would always eat at a restaurant named Ollie's. Alan would use these ollies to lift her the board slightly over the coping of the pool that he was skating. Believe it or not, there was a trick used before the ollie to help lift your skateboard off the ground. The trick was called the gorilla ollie, where you basically take off your shoes and grab the tail and nose of the skateboard with your toes and jump. However, as you can imagine, that wasn't super convenient. Although in 1982, Roddy Mullen performed an ollie on flat ground while competing in Rusty Harris contest, in which he won Rodney's first ever flat ground ollie was about 10 inches tall and was a pretty big good deal, so much so that his ollie would appear on the front page of Trasher magazine. Since then, there's been many records set for the ollies, such as the highest ollie being 45 inches and the highest switch ollie being slightly higher than 40 inches. Also, one of the most craziest records set set was by Rob Deerdeck after he performed 215 consecutive consecutive ollies on the TV show Rob and Vic. Anyways, I'll have to do for the origin story slash history of the ollie and how it revolutionized skateboarding today as we know it. Anyways, if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, comment, and share the video with family and friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video.